Okay, so a three-picture triptych obviously takes three pictures and puts them into one document. So the first thing you have to do is figure out how big your document needs to be. So I've got my three pictures here. Uh, this is, was the final product, of course. Uh, I've done a couple of them with the other two classes. This uh, is my picture one. So what I'm going to do is go to image, resize, and image size and I'm going to change the size of it. So I'm going to go down to 1200 and you'll notice that the, the height changes and that's because I've got constrained proportions checked. The other thing to remind you of is that you need to check resample image. If I don't have that checked then I can't change the pixels. So what I have to do is check resample image so I can type in the number of pixels that I want. So I'm going to go with 1200. It's going to change the height to 900. You'll notice the width and height of the inches change as well. Okay, so I'm going to do that for all three pictures. Image, resize, image size. Make sure my resample image is checked. Constrained proportions. I'll type in the exact same number. Height is exactly the same. Third picture, image, resize, image size. 1200, again, constrained proportions, resample, both checked. Now, 1200 times 3 is 3600 pixels. So my document needs to be at least that big in order to fit all three pictures in, but I want more space than that. So what I'm going to do is create a new document. And I'm going to type in my last name, first name. Call it triptych three because it's a three picture triptych. And the width is going to be, I'm going to type in 4,500. The height, I'm going to type in 1,500 because I don't need a lot of space, but that gives me a good 300 pixels on either side. And my resolution, I want it 300 because I want a good quality picture. Right? So I end up with a document of about that size. Now, the first thing I want to do is put some color in because I'm going to actually need it to be able to see a certain feature. So I'm going to go and to my paint bucket and fill it in with this nice dark green. Right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on what's called a grid. And what that does is it gives me a series of lines that are I form perfect squares that will help me place different objects in there. There's also a feature called snap and you'll see that it says snap to grid and snap to guides. That allows whatever I draw to attach itself to that feature, whether it's a guideline or a grid line. The guidelines are what these lines that you can drag out from the ruler and place in your document. You can see it kind of snaps to either one. And they end up being blue. And they can come from both directions. Okay? So I don't need those at the moment, so I'm just going to drag them off. Okay? Then I just need to place my pictures. So I'm going to go to my picture, go to select all, because that's what I need to do to be able to copy it. Edit copy. I'm going to go to my picture. You can see it's down here now. I'm going to go edit paste. And then I'm going to use my move tool to move it over. And I'm going to use these grid lines to line up the picture. Now I don't have to obviously use my arrow keys, but I can. So I'm going to place it over here. I'll worry about exactly placing it later. I'm going to go back to my next picture. Same thing. Select all. <coughs> edit. Copy. Go back to my document. Edit, paste. It's going to be in the middle, so I'll leave it there. 
Third picture, same thing. Select all. Edit copy. And then edit paste. Right? And I'll drag it over. So now it's a matter of using the grid to line everything up. So right now I've got four squares here. I'm going to put four there. I'm going to make sure it snaps to the top because it will do that. Same with this. I'll snap it to the top. I've got two squares in between here, two into between there, four over there, four on the top, four on the bottom. So it's perfectly centered. What I can also do is just to make sure I can double uh, go to my zoom tool, the plus sign, and I can zoom way in. Okay, so see how it's a little bit off? I want it to snap right to that line. So I'm going to double check all of them. This one needs to go up a little bit as well. I'm not so concerned about the bottom as long as the, time, the, the top lines up. The bottom is going to be lined up as well. So I don't have to worry about that. It just so happens it fits nicely in that box. It doesn't always, so don't worry about that. Just make sure that you have the same number of squares on either side, top and bottom approximately, and that they all line up across the top by using that line. Right? I'm done with the grid. Um, what I can also do is if I am not satisfied with my, um, my, um, the amount of space I have on the mat, or if, for example, if I have a little bit of extra here, say there's half a square there, what I can do is I can go to my crop tool. So it's this tool right here. And the crop tool basically just allows me, come on. So it's the crop tool. It allows me to select an area. So say I want to cut one square on all sides off my mat, which is this bottom layer here with the background color. And you'll see that the cropping tool, because I have the, the, the snap to grid applied, it will actually snap itself to the line and cut it off perfectly. So I can do it that way if I want to decrease the size. And that's called the crop tool. I'm done with the grid, so I can turn it off just by going to view grid and unchecking that box. And all I have to do now is my layer styles. So I'm going to go to my move tool and this box up here is called auto select layer. I can check it or uncheck it. If I have it checked, it allows me to click on an image on the picture and it'll select whatever layer that picture is on. So if I click on the green, it goes down to my layer one, which I'm going to rename matte. I can click on this picture. That's my left hand picture. I can click on this one. It's my middle or center. And again, rename your layers so you know what's there. And right. I could name it tree, bush, water fountain, but it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a frame using my layer style, just like we did last time. So layer style, style settings. I'm going to add in a stroke, put it up around probably 20 so it's visible. And this time I'm going to use a bevel. And again, it, that makes it a little bit three-dimensional. So I'll drag that up a little bit so it starts. You can see it'll, you can go all the way to the center almost. But I'm just going to do a slight bevel on it just so you can barely see it. You also have glows you can put in. So it will, um, you know, whatever color you choose. So say you wanted bright pink. And then it will put a glow on that picture. Okay, and you can use whatever color you want. Just match it to the picture. I wouldn't put pink on there because it just takes away from the picture. And that's not the point. I'm not going to use a glow that time. The drop shadow, same idea. You can put a shadow on it so it looks like it stands out a bit. I can also turn this angle here. You can see the, the shadow can go in a whole bunch of different directions. 
So I'll use a drop shadow this time, why not? Make it a little bit transparent so it's faint. Make it fairly close. And then I'm going to click OK. That puts the layer style there. I don't know if I like the shadow. So if you want to edit it, you can double click on this little icon on the layer. You see a little symbol appears. It will reopen that up. I'm going to take the drop shadow off. I don't really like it. And then it will change it. So this little icon here on your layer allows you to go directly to the layer style that's there. Now all I have to do is put the same layer style on there. I didn't take note of numbers because what I can do is I can go to layer, layer style and hit copy layer style. Then I go here to the new layer and I go layer paste layer style and it will put in the exact same style on all three. Right, and there I have my triptych. So it's a little simpler than the one picture one. Uh, you just have to remember to do a few different things, copying and pasting, using the grid to place things in there.